Mr. Cat. Get that yarn! <laughs> get the yarn, Mr. Cat. You get that yarn! Millie, get the yarn someplace else. We were here first. Mr. Cat and I can be here if we wanna. <laughs> Go on, Mr. Cat. Get the yarn. Hmm. Huh? <laughs> Wowee, Mr. Cat. You sure showed that ball of yarn who's boss. It's Bert and Burger on the breakaway! Coming through! <laughs> Gangway! Do you mind? It's the third period. The score's tied and I'm going for a hat trick. You're not even wearing a hat, Poop. <laughs> Ow! Hey! Oh. <laughs> Do you think there's a planet where sisters and cats don't exist? If it does, I'm first in line for the shuttle. <sighs> Birds have it made. They fly around in the sky. Nothing can touch them. Except for bats. Bats? And really tall robots. Hey, I know. We should build ourselves a tree fort. Ow! Millie! Mr. Cat and I are butterfly hunting. Ow! Oh, oh, so close. We'll get it next time. About that fort? Sooner rather than later, okay? This is gonna be the best tree house ever. It's not just gonna be a tree house. It's gonna be a tree castle. <laughs> ah! I want to draw two. Scram, Millie, we're busy. Coop, that's no way to talk to your... Hey, are those plans for a tree house? <gasps> yeah, isn't it great? It's gonna have a video game room, a fireman's pool, and a helipad. What's that? That's the balcony for tea parties. We're not gonna be having silly stuff like tea parties up there. Besides, that's where the bowling alley's supposed to be. You want some help? Your old man has made a tree fort or two in his time. <laughs> Uh, sorry, but Dennis and I want to do this ourselves. No dads, no sisters, and definitely no cats. Hmm. Who cares about your dumb old boy anyway? Come on, Mr. Cat, let's play hospital. <laughs> All right, Dennis, let's find some wood to build with. Let's tear down the fence. That's the spirit. Whoa, boys, boys, not the fence. <sighs> what? Dennis, what are you doing? What? It's right here in the plants. See? Millie! But Bendy Betsy is ready to move in. and high-tech security. Last one in is a smelly gym bag! <laughs> Way to go, boys! It's terrific! So where's the helipad and the fire pole and the dedicated candy room? They go up in phase two of construction! Well, what about the bowling alley? You said there was going to be a bowling alley! Prepare to be amazed! <laughs> No way, Millie. This fort is a little sister in cat-free zone. Ah, oh, come on, Coop. Give your sister a quick tour of the facilities. Fine, a quick tour. But don't touch anything. You might set off a booby trap. Oh. All right, Millie. Tour's over. Time to go. Am scray. Come on, Mr. Cat. We don't need their silly fort. Oh, I've read the same comic six times and it always ends the same way. Dennis, 
You're missing the point. You've read the same comic six times in your own tree fort! Hmm. I hadn't thought of it that way. Ice Cream Man! I can still hear him! Where is he? It's a certain kind of evil to fake an ice cream man drive by. Cat. <laughs> the tree fork! No! <laughs> We're taking our fork back if we have to tear it down to do it. Do you see him? The purple rat! I don't know about this, Coop. We built a lot of defenses into that fort. There's no way he could know our secrets. Besides, we've got the element of surprise. <laughs> Big bombs away! <laughs> Sheet. I've been looking for it all over the kitchen. Cat was using it to call other evil cats and they were answering him. And, and... Uh... Coop, you need to come up with a better story than that. If you need materials for the fort, just ask me. 
Dad says it's only fair we take turns in the treehouse. Then you can come and join our tea party if you want. We'll build another tree fort, and it'll be even bigger and better, and it'll be in a secret location. Right after a quick snack break. Ice cream man! <laughs> Missy, it's Phoebe. You're forgetting the Greeny Girl's ABCs. Always be cookie selling, which is why I'll be this year's top cookie seller and you'll be sweeping up my crumbs. Hey, nobody talks to my cookie source that way. Especially not since she promised me a three for one deal, right? What? Remind me, Phoebe, what flavors do Greeny Girl cookies come in? Well, there's. Okay, fine. All right! Sorry, Phoebe. I guess Millie's a better sales girl than you. Which is why I'm gonna win this contest. Care to make a little wager? You bet I do. What do I get when I win? If you win, I'll give you my little Miss Bootsville princess tiara. <laughs> and if you win, how about an afternoon of quality time? <laughs> no way! Make it a week and you're on. Hey, you're not dragging me into your dumb little bet. I'll give you a four for one cookie deal. Deal. Yay, Coop's in the back. I look forward to our quality time together, Coop. But, but, I, oh boy. <laughs> Don't worry, with my cuteness, the cookie orders will pour in. Right. Dad, I gotta help Millie win the top cookie seller contest. Ah, oh, that's very brotherly of you, Coop. There's a four for one deal at stake. What we need is a gimmick. But what? <laughs> I think somebody just volunteered to play dress up. I wasn't talking about me. Aw, uh, don't you look cute? Yeah, cute like victory. Yep, yeah, well, it's all for a good cause. Cookies. I wasn't talking about you. Look! <laughs> <laughs> Let's sell some cookies! Come on, Mr. Cat. Let's go sell some cookies! Not old Lady Munson. She's Captain Cookie's kryptonite. Don't be silly. Mrs. Munson always buys cookies from me. <laughs> Hello, Millie. Mrs. Munson, would you like to order multiple boxes of Greeny Girl cookies? Uh, sorry, Millie, I'm saving my pennies for Growler's new flea collar. He's had the same one for six years. But look at his cute costume. <laughs> ah, not Coop, Mr. <laughs> Cat. Oh, how adorable. Put me down for a case. Growler's flea collar will just have to wait. Uh, hmm? Piece of cookie covered cake. Greeny Girl cookie! Talk to someone with money. <laughs> hey, Coop. Lauren? Harley? What are you doing? Getting a shot of the elusive Buki. Half boy, half cookie, with a soft, nerdy filling. Ha ha. It's gonna be in our next release of Crazy Coop Collector Cards. What? Let me see those. Zombie Cat Boy. Got it. The Strikeout. Got it. Mr. Freddy Cat. Need it? I only collect them for the gum. Hi, Hi Coop! I believe this house is in my territory. It's not! Corner houses are up for grabsies. I'm way ahead in sales, so you can have it. I'll still win our bet and some quality time with Coop. <laughs> that does it. I'm calling off the bed. I have my dignity. 
Billy, don't! Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, don't cry, little girl. Uh, I'll order some cookies from you. Thank you. Millie, that's the best sales gimmick ever! Kitty, we can win this! The bet is still on! <laughs> Daddy, then Phoebe can eat my cookie dust. See what happens when you two work together? Together? Yeah, right. Man, those are some heavy cookies. <laughs> Here, Daddy, you get the first box. Thanks, honey. Now let it go. I can't. They're so good. <laughs> <sighs> Even a greenie girl can't resist the call of the cookie for long. Please, can I have a cookie, Dad? They're so scrumptiously good. Coop, you know you can never stop at just one. No one can. I'll open this box after you help Millie deliver her orders tomorrow. It'll be your reward for a job well done. All of Millie's Greeny Girl cookies? Huh? <laughs> I didn't do it! The cat did! <laughs> the crumbs on your face tell another tale, son. What crumbs? I haven't eaten a single cookie yet. Oh, those are Greeny Girl cookie crumbs, all right. I'm docking your allowance till you pay for all the cookies you ate. But I'll be 65 before I pay it off! Unless now is a good time to ask for a raise? <gasps> the loss of those cookies is nothing to joke about, young man. You're grounded until further notice. <laughs> if I don't have any cookies to deliver, I won't win the top cookie seller contest. And Phoebe will never let me forget it. There, there, sweetie. We can always move away if we have to. <laughs> I gotta clear my name and get my allowance back. Triple scoop to Waffle Cone. Report to the deep freeze ASAP. <sighs> What's with the gear, Coop? You and me are going catfishing. Millie's monster cat ate all her cookies and framed me for it. He sabotaged Millie? Why? To get to me! If Millie loses that bet, I'll have to spend quality time with Phoebe. <laughs> that cat truly is diabolical! So we'll set a trap and catch him in the act of cookie eating. But you said he ate all the cookies. Did he? Yes! We got the bait. Now we wait. And try not to eat these ourselves. <laughs> I am going to put this last cookie box where the cat will never find it. Sure hope the cat won't eat that box of cookies and frame me for it. Hmm. Waffle Cone, what's your status? Waffle Cone is in the cooler. I repeat, Checkpoint Chowtown is... Yeah, I can see for myself. Ah! Don't sneak up on me like that. For it, kitty. Shh. Did he see us? I'll check. He's gone. Way to blow our cover, Dennis. Me? You're the one who said shh. <laughs> what is going? <laughs> Millie, you ate the cookies. They were so good! Ha! It wasn't me! It wasn't me! And for once, it wasn't you! But more importantly, it wasn't me! Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, Coop. I was wrong to accuse you. And as for you, Millie, well, I'm very disappointed. Welcome to my world. You'll spend an extra long time out in your room today. That's it? For eating all those cookies? She's just a little girl. And the call of the cookie is strong. But she does have to say she's sorry for framing you. Yeah! Millie? What he said. Close it up! All right! I just heard.
heard that Millie sold the most cookies. I've come to give her my little Miss Bootsville tiara. Yep, thanks, see you around. Ahem. <coughs> Phoebe, wait. You ate all your cookies? But my dad's gonna pay for them. Oh, cool. <laughs> time for our quality time. Yeah, uh, sorry, Phoebe, but Coop's been grounded until further notice. a bad, bad boy. Oh, well, maybe Holly Fluff and I can spend some quality time with Millie and Mr. Cat. Kitty pageant! Can I wear your tiara? Don't push your luck. I saved us an extra box. Cookie, anyone? <laughs> Coop! Millie! Come on, guys, let's finish up our spring cleaning. <laughs> Aha! I never use this thing. <laughs> the junk truck is gonna be here any minute. There you go. Ah, uh, Millie, the idea is to find useless junk people will want. <laughs> <laughs> Well done, guys. <laughs> Don't tell me. The, the cat. cat! He's diabolical, Dad! You gotta believe me! Coop, next time you see Cat do something diabolical, make sure someone else sees it too. <laughs> Great idea! I'm gonna stick to you like glue till you see cat attack! Uh, yeah, that's not quite what I had in mind. Oh, what are you guys doing? I want to do it too, whatever it is. <sighs> My morning started out so simple. <sighs> Coop, don't you think this little experiment has gone on long enough? No way! Son bonding time. Look out! Coop! Uh, I just want to give my dad a big hug. Me too, me too. <sighs> Coop, I'm all for togetherness, but if you were any closer, I'd be wearing you like a jacket. I gotta stay close to prove the cat is causing all my problems. No, oh, cat's probably just napping in Millie's room right now, son. <laughs> Do I want to know? Nope. What you doing, Daddy? Trying to read my paper, sweetie. What's Coop doing? Trying to stick close to Dad, not closer to me. Well, you've both got three minutes of closeness before I go to work. There! He's doing it! Dad, look! Look, Dad! Look! Oh, no. Look at me, Daddy! I'm not looking at either of you until I finish reading my paper. Why in the world did you play slingshot with my Mung vase? It was the cat, Dad. Didn't you see him? All I see is a crater-sized hole in my easy chair. But... But nothing. It has to be more relaxing at work. Don't go! I mean, I'm with you, Dad. I'm with you, too. Oh, yeah. Thank goodness I don't have three kids. <laughs> 
Looks like someone found the gymnastics equipment. Ta-da! Gentlemen and coop, Millie the Magnificent presents the greatest gymnastics routine ever! <laughs> yeah! Almost, honey. Uh-oh. Cat's on the move. Dad, this is not a safe place. Someone could really hurt themselves on that swordfish or the spurs on those cowboy boots. Coop, you're the most dangerous thing in this shop. Uh, I was just, uh, thinking of Millie. Well, stop thinking of me and start looking at me. Look, Daddy, look! I'm looking, honey bun. Uh, Millie, do you think you could perform your baton bonanza in the storeroom while I do inventory? Hmm? Okay, Daddy. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> Dad, you gotta see this! No, I gotta do inventory. Ah! Wait for me! Ah! Uh, uh, <sighs> that was a close one. <laughs> That's a relief. You're right, Coop. This place is way too dangerous. For you. Let's go. Now you're talking! It won't budge. Mr. Cat! He's trapped out there! Mr. Cat! Mr. Cat! Finally, some good news. I'm sorry, Mr. Cat. <laughs> This totem pole won't budge. Can I help, Dad? No, I want to help. I'm a better helper than you. Okay, I, I need some space. Millie, go play quietly over there. Ah! A little cookie crumbled lazy baker radioactivity oven goodie. Coop, you totaled my recliner and Mung Vaz, trapped the family, and almost cracked my lucky totem pole. That's a busy day, even for you. So do me a favor and sit in that corner. And don't get up from that stool! But what if... Coop? La, la, I'm baking with my oven. Huh? I'm doing it! It's moving! <laughs> Mr. Cat, you're safe! Hooray! <laughs> Oh, it's even more stuck than before. Mr. Cat, we're making cupcakes. Mm. <laughs> hey, Millie, don't let Cat near those cupcakes. Don't be silly. Mr. Cat is a great chef, aren't you, Mr. Cat? <laughs> Mr. Cat and I make cupcakes. In a sec, sweetie. <laughs> oh, okay, maybe I'll have that cupcake. <gasps> cupcakes! <laughs> Why, these look delicious, Millie. Corner, young man. From now on, you will not leave this square, on the stool or not, or you'll be grounded for eternity. What? Okay, Dad. Move! Uh, ow! Uh, uh, ow! Uh, uh, <laughs> Oh, 
dumb does he think I am? I know a trap when I see one. Ooh, cupcakes. <gasps> but Billy doesn't! No, Billy, stay away! You have your chance. These cupcakes are all mine. <laughs> I hate to do this to you, Totem Pole. We've had some good times. <laughs> this is some axe! Dad! Coop is out of his square! Young man, I told you what would happen if you left your square. I'm afraid you're... Grounded for eternity. I know. A month in my room without... Cat! Hey! Ah, a peaceful cat-free environment for a whole month. What could be more relaxing? Is that you, Dad? You're right, I'm coming. Mr. Cat! It's time for your checkup with Dr. Millie and Nurse Rub My Tummy Tum Bear. <laughs> What's this do? Dad? A camping we will go. A camping we will go. The Dolly Holiday Campgrounds and Water Park is that way. Yeah, that place is a glorified parking lot. This year, we're roughing it, son. Commuting with nature away from nagging neighbors and big city noise. Sounds great, Dad. But why do we have to bring Millie's cat? Cats don't camp. <laughs> Leave Mr. Cat alone. It's his vacation, too. Maybe he needs some air. Millie, don't let the cat out! <laughs> Everyone out, out, out! <sighs> Smell that clean air. Listen to the sounds of nature. Smells like chicken fingers to me. And sounds like TV to me. Yeah? Whoa. Hey, Dennis! Cool. No way! You're camping too? Yeah, we're roughing it, just like you! I'd hardly call this roughing it. Henry, you wouldn't know a pine cone from an ice cream cone without all these techno doohickeys. Oh, yeah? With or without this stuff, I'm still twice the camper you are. Huh. Care to prove it? Try camping like a real outdoorsman for 24 hours. You are on. I can outcamp you any day. <sighs> so much for communing with nature. <laughs> yeah. We'll see who the real outdoorsman is. You bet we will. Dennis, pack up the basketball court. <laughs> Watch for him. You better. <laughs> Want some help, Daddy? Sure do, Pumpkin. Now, just watch and learn, Millie. Shouldn't you be doing that from the outside? I just need to get this tent pole inserted. Ow! Oh, yeah, you're a master camper, Bert. <laughs> Voila! What? No one can put up a tent that quickly. Whoa. <laughs> Sweet Pea, where'd you learn to put up a tent? Greeny girl. Really? Wow. What? <laughs> <laughs> our dads will be competing all day. The great outdoors is ours for the taking. Yeah! <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> that poison ivy's been itching to meet you, cat. Mm. Do I detect the distinct and yummy smell of vacuum-packed dried fruits, nuts, artificial flavor, and hydrogenated vegetable oil? Sure do. And I've got powdered water if you're thirsty, too. 
She doesn't need your futuristic space food, Henry. I'm gonna catch our dinner like a real outdoorsman. Oh, really? Well, so am I. Huh. I don't even need a rod. I'm gonna fish the way my ancestors did, with a spear. Who can play the spear fishing game? <sighs> <laughs> Careful, those are fire ants. If their mound is disturbed, they'll latch on with their barbed mandibles and sting you with burning venom. That is so cool. Look out, gotta duck. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say we collect some firewood? <laughs> Another one? <laughs> How about that? Not having much luck, Bert. Careful, Daddy. Careful? A master woodsman has to be bold, Turnip. <laughs> Finished already, Bert? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Daddy, look! A baby bear! Don't get too close, honey. His mama must be around here somewhere, and we don't want to tangle with her. <laughs> Please. That's like Greeny Girl's lesson number one. Oh! Caught another one! That makes an even dozen fish to your... Oh, zero! Booyah! A bear! <laughs> yep, you're a real outdoorsman, Henry. Hey, Coop, what do you think left these? A unicorn? A dinosaur? Maybe a moose and fuzzy bear paw slippers. I know what these are. Trust me, we should go another way. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask. Come on, Dennis. Dinner. Where have you been, Mr. Cat? Ew! Stinky, stinky! Woo! Smells like Mr. Cat met up with Mr. Skug. Better give him a bath. Coop, you said you'd watch him. We did watch him. We watched him get sprayed, stung, and roll in poison ivy. What's for dinner, Dad? I'm starving! Me too. We, uh, don't have fish, but I packed enough food for a feast. Hamburgers, hot dogs, ah, fishy frisky bits. <laughs> fire, fire. There must be something on the internet about fire. Put that thing away, Henry. All you need are two rocks to make a spark. <laughs> and to bash your hands. Admit it, but my way is way better. Never! <sighs> We're running out of gauze. All you need are two sticks and half a brain. That's my greeny girl. Come on, Dad. Just use a plain old lighter. <sighs> All right. Let's cook dinner. Something smells yummy. Freeze-dried stew with meat like chunks. Hungry, Millie? Sure am. You're on your own, Daddy. There's plenty. Want to come and join us for dinner, Mr. Burtonberger? Well, you can go if you want, son. But I'm gonna show those guys how a real camper toughs it out. It's okay. Food is overrated. That's the spirit. Fishy frisky bits. Mmm. My favorite. <laughs> These should be out of reach. We don't want another bear drawn into the camp looking for cat food. Ugh. Unstoppable feeling cyborg! We 
you gotta throw Cat off the scent. off the track. <laughs> and the little bear cub is safe. <laughs> or not. <laughs> I can't watch. <gasps> Mama's home. Minute, Bert. My way of camping is all the comforts of home. It may be comfy, but it ain't camping till you learn how to light a fire. Or get a greenie girl to teach me. <laughs> <laughs> you must feel the wrath of Captain Blasteroid, imposter! No, you are the imposter. I'm the real Captain Blasteroid! Explain to us again why you asked us to film this lame fight sequence. Lame? This'll be the best underground Blasteroid movie ever! Captain Blasteroid and the attack of the evil clones! Who wouldn't want to see that? Us. Hey! 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 <laughs> Millie, what are you doing? I'm taking Greeny Girl martial arts lessons. Well, you're ruining our movie. No, she isn't. That was the best part so far. Yeah, do some more, Millie. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Coop. You gonna let your little sister beat you up? <laughs> Coop's little sister totally kicked his butt. And I've got it all on tape. <laughs> uh, I don't suppose there's any way we can keep quiet about this? <laughs> I'll take that as a no. <laughs> Maybe Millie's been doing yoga. I hear that really strengthens your core. It's the best show in town. See a wimpy 10-year-old kid get flipped by his baby sister. <laughs> what? <laughs> I need to take martial arts lessons. Sure, Coop. The Bank of Burtonburger can handle that in a month or two. <sighs> Just as soon as we take care of this bill for replacement gnomes. A month? That's not soon enough. Well, why don't you get Millie to show you some moves? She's taking martial arts lessons. Yeah, Coop. I'll show you. No way. I'm not taking lessons from my little sister. <laughs> <laughs> well, another bill for drywall. <sighs> Hey, Coop, been beat up by her little sister lately? <laughs> <laughs> what happened the other day was pure luck. <laughs> That'll never happen again. <laughs> Whoa, maybe one more time. <laughs> Get a close up of his face, Harl. Oh, he's totally gonna hurl. <laughs> when will it end? Just the fluke, huh? <laughs> it was good. Only you would blame something weaker than your baby sister. 
Coop, look out! That sparrow looks like it wants your lunch money. <laughs> You're so lame. Lame-tastic. Lamerific. Lame-tacular. <laughs> Millie couldn't flip me by herself three times. She had to have had help from Cat. So an alien entity made it look like she had super strength. I knew there was a logical explanation. Hey, didn't you always tell me that your grandfather was a kung fu master? Yes, he was the most respected master in all of Hong Kong. Dennis, you gotta teach me martial arts so I can defend myself against Cat. Me? Grandpa told me a few of his training techniques, but Dennis, the whole school thinks I got flipped by my little sister. Three times. My reputation is at stake here. You have to help me. If I do this, you must submit to my teaching. Mind, body, and soul. It's a deal, Dennis. From now on, it's Master Dennis. First, you must learn how to focus your chi, the energy within. Oh. Try to snatch this marble from my hand. Oh, now what, Master Dennis? I don't know. You weren't supposed to be able to do that until after your training. Oh well, moving on. Now, Grandfather said every great martial artist has a fighting style inspired by one of nature's fierce creatures. Nut gathering squirrel. Flopping seagull. Dog at hydrant. Show me flapping seagull. Um, poop. Nut gathering squirrel. Doesn't matter. We got so much footage of Coop being lame that we could start our own TV channel. Yeah, the lame network. These will help you visualize your opponent. Now, focus your chi. <laughs> now break this board, and you will break your fear of the cat. Next time Cat tries to take me out, he's in for a world of ouch. I am ready for you, my furless foe. Captain Blasteroid! <laughs> Cat Drool, I will avenge you. It's not finished yet, but we're confident it's gonna be our best work yet. It's Cat Boy! Now we can shoot our ending! <laughs> Asteroid, there is no greater insult. Dennis, I'm at the house of Swap, and I'm gonna take down Cat. But you're only supposed to use your skills for self-defense! Coop! Coop! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, flea bitten feline! I challenge you to head to bar combat! Here comes 
Who's Dennis? Act natural. Hang on, Coop! I'm coming! What? Dennis! Coop, my grandfather wasn't a kung fu master. He ran a movie theater. What? It wasn't training techniques he was telling me about. It was movie plots. Well, if I could break that board, I can take this cat. Oh, about that? I partially sawed through that board. I wanted to build up your confidence. <laughs> What's going on in there? I can't see. It's getting close to us. doing in the House of Swap when it's closed. Dad, you're not going to believe this. Oh, I believe it all right. What a mess. Kids, scaring off that vertically challenged intruder was a brave thing to do. But next time, leave it to the pros. You boys have to teach me some of those crazy moves. Coop took on a tiny ninja. He's got the mojo of a dojo hero. And I train the hero. A hero is one who focuses his chi and... Ah! <laughs> Millie! That's Master Millie to you. I've completed my greeny girl self-defense training. Oh, man, I had the lens cap on. <laughs> Ooh, a quarter. <laughs> <laughs> Coop put salt in the sugar bowl! Oh, yeah. April Fool, you do, Dad. <laughs> Good one, sport. Reminds me of when I was your age. They called me the Prince of Pranks. I guess that makes me the heir to the throne. enough pies for our Gnome Appreciation Society lunch. <laughs> what would you like, Growler? Coconutty cream? Berry berry or not? Growler, the greedy boy! <laughs> Careful you're not going too far with the prank, son. Don't you think flushing pies down the toilet is a little weird for an April Fool's joke? Wasn't me, Dad! Growler, you're gonna stay out here till you turn that doggy don't into doggy do! <gasps> ah! Flying saucer pie thief! Oh. Ah! Come back here with those pies! <laughs> Toilet paper in the tree! A classic! <laughs> Flying saucer! Ew! Alien slime! Quick, give me the camera! Mmm, coconutty! They must be tropical aliens! <laughs> Ha <laughs> 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 April Fools! Gotcha! Anyone's prank. 
ranks this year. Guys, wait up! There have been UFO sightings all over Bootsville. Here it comes. We got one on camera. Look! You gotta be kidding if you think I'd fall for something this lame. <laughs> if it is fake, whoever's doing it is genius. Wait, Dennis, I thought I saw something. Here, where, where, where? I don't see any UFOs. Try the other eye. <laughs> you got me. No one is safe from the Pharaoh of Pooja. Ha, ha, ha. Wait, what is that? Like you're gonna fool me twice with the same joke. A crop circle, and it looks just like... <gasps> Again! This is either the best prank anyone has ever played, or the human race is in deep doo-doo from an alien invasion. Our vote goes to alien invasion! I mean, alien invasion. People, this is just some prankster's idea of an April Fool's Day joke. There's no scientific evidence flying saucers exist. Oh, they're real. One of them stole my pies. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Kerber, we've got video. We're recording the whole invasion. I'm sure there's a reasonable explanation for everything you've all seen. <laughs> like too much cheese, maybe. No, Dad. The people of Bootsville need to hear the truth. We are being invaded! <laughs> I know it. And my sister's pet cat is one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say your sister's cat? Ooh, that's silly. Mr. Cat's not an alien. <gasps> Leave the mothership! April <laughs> 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 Fools got ya! <laughs> we know how to deal with practical jokers in my day. We'd paint their ears red and strap an angry badger to them. Ring a bell, Burton Burger? <laughs> oh, Coop, you did all this for a practical joke? I didn't do it, Dad. Cat did. Well, A for effort, Cooper. If only you applied such initiative to your science homework. But, Mr. Gerber, Dad! Quit while you're ahead, son. I warned you about taking things too far. Maybe now you'll learn your lesson. <laughs> Coop, you were behind all this? But... Oh, I'm going home. Have fun with your pranking. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still the king of practical jokes. Ah, <sighs> uh, cheer up, sport. <laughs> oh, dear. I think aliens got into the milk. Could be a sign of the coming invasion. <laughs> Get it? It's an alien drink. It's all alien-y. <laughs> Tough room. Cat got me all right. Mr. Cat is just a cat. <gasps> That's what you think. Ha <laughs> ha, April Fool's. Gotcha. Thank <laughs> you. 
Whipped cream, stink bombs, toilet paper. Check. <laughs> Time for some April Fool's Day payback, cat. April Fool's Day, but about the tap, I'd like to do the dishes but, without a bathing suit and snorkel. Yeah, and flying saucers! Uh huh, nice try, son. but you're still not the master. Your dad is. And Millie. And Dennis. <laughs> and the water loose in my quarter. I am the queen of pranks. The guru of gotcha. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I can't wait till next year. You won't stand a chance when it's two against one. Whoa! 